Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a busy mom homemaking motivation video. I've got lots of homemaking stuff to do today as usual, cleaning, cooking, laundry, all that good stuff. So if you guys need some motivation to get stuff done around your house, this video has got lots of that for you guys today. So as you can see, I'm getting started in the kitchen. I got this new vacuum here and I want to unbox it, but the island has some sticky stuff on it. So I just wanted to get that cleaned up so I could have a nice clean space to unbox my brand new robot vacuum. So this one is the Yeedy Vac 2 Pro Robot Vacuum and Mop Combo. I really love the fact that it's a mop combination too, because that just cuts down on my work. So I'm super excited to try this one out. I'm just going to unpackage it, download the app and all that stuff so I can get my cleaning done and then get this thing running. So taking a first look at this, I'm really liking it. Those tires on this robot vacuum are really good. They've got good traction, lots of grip, and they have like these little springy things that help them to move. So I think this is gonna be really good. I'm excited to get this charged. So that's why I wanted to get the charging station out and the cord out. And I'm just taking a quick look at the mop here. It's got this little Velcro thing. So you can take that off, throw it in the washing machine once it's done. So this attachment here is for the floor washing. I can see there's a little blue thing. You lift it up, you put the water in there and it washes your floor. So I'm excited to give that a try. I just love how this vacuum comes with an app. So you just download the app on your phone, super easy to set up. Lots of cool features on that app and you can operate the whole vacuum right from your phone. Okay, so I got the vacuum up and running. It's doing its thing. I'm going to check in on it later in this video, but I have other cleaning to do. So what I did was I lifted up all of the bar stools, the table and chairs, got everything out of the way, so that way the vacuum can do its vacuuming and do a really good job. And I'll just give you guys a little peek at the app here because I think it is so cool. So you can even name your vacuum. So I just named it Aduno RoboVac. You can click the button to enter smart cleaning. There's all sorts of different features on here. I have to even like go through and learn it better, but you can click like washing, vacuuming. You can even choose your vacuum power. So if you just want like a light vacuum or if you know you need high suction power, you can turn down the volume on the robot voice and all sorts of neat things. The one thing that sold me on this vacuum was the unique oscillating mopping system and the strong suction power. It can mop and vacuum simultaneously to scrub off dried stains from wood tile, laminate floors, and it sucks up dirt from both carpet and hard floors. Okay, now back to the cleaning. As you can see, I am getting everything lifted and taken out of the way for that vacuum to do its thing. Pacey has his hockey equipment airing out on the chairs. That's pretty gross, but honestly, we don't have anywhere else, else to air it out right now. This is kind of the best spot, just on the bottom of the chair rails. Um, we don't really have like our hockey room ready. It will be in the garage, but that's going to be down the road. Okay guys, it's getting pretty late in the evening. I just want to get a little bit more cleaning up done in the kitchen so I don't have to wake up to a giant disaster. Um, the island bar stools are up so I just want to get the rest of the island cleaned off get things put away before I head upstairs nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different It never hit you a conversation takes to paying it some interest from time to time inside all that greatness in all of your adventures you're all alone hold up hold up baby i can 
sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. Thankfully, I don't have too many dishes in the sink right now because if I had a sink full of dishes, I cannot guarantee that I would stay up and get that done. There was only a few in there, so it was nice and quick. I've really tried to not be so crazy about making sure everything's perfectly clean before going to bed. I was doing that for a while, but honestly, it was just like so stressful. I know that they say like, make sure your kitchen is clean before you head to bed. I really try doing that, but with us being so busy with hockey and four kids running around it's just not as easy as it used to be when the kids were little when we were home a lot more so i try to give myself some grace so if you guys are in the same situation obviously try your best to try to get your kitchen clean before bed but don't stress out if you can't that's about all i'm going to get done down here for the night it's getting late so i'm just gonna head upstairs but i wanted to show you guys this cute little birdhouse that i picked up at home since the other day I've never had a birdhouse before, but it was a really good price and I just thought it looked super cute and I thought the kids would like it. So I have to figure out how to open this little back door here. I think we just have to get a screwdriver and open it up. And I'm assuming that's where the food goes because I think the little birdies go in through the round hole. And then I was thinking of putting some bird seed in the front porch there. So I'm gonna have to head to Home Depot. I have no idea what kind of bird seed to get or anything like that. So I will do that and then I'll just hang it in the tree somewhere in the backyard. I think it's just super, super cute. And of course, I've got a little bit of clutter here on the window ledge. So I've got a needle and thread and some AirPod thingies and a remote control. So I've got to get those put away, but I'll just leave those there for tonight. But otherwise, everything else is looking pretty good. I've just got the floor washing cartridge there that's going to be used tomorrow. I've got the Yeedy vacuum on the charger and Charlotte, of course, is super curious. She's always so curious about the robot vacuums. They're so weird to her and she follows them around everywhere. And then here we are the next morning already. So I have my app ready to go. I wanted to get started with the vacuum and see how it works from upstairs because it's been charging all night. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press play and it's going to start vacuuming. So I'm going to head downstairs and see what it's up to. Every day. Okay, so the app seems to work great because the vacuum started vacuuming all on its own and it's doing its job. I will have the Yeedy Vac 2 Pro, which is this vacuum, linked down below in the description box for you guys. Alrighty, so now that my Yeedy Vac is doing its thing in the house, I'm going to head outside because we got this new electric bike and the kids are so excited about this. It's actually a full-size bike so the older boys are the only ones who can really ride it it's a little bit too big for chandon but they absolutely love this thing it is called the angui m20 electric bike and jeff and my dad helped me put this thing together it was actually super easy it just came in a box we put all the pieces together and away you go you just charge it and you have like basically like a little motorcycle so i'm so excited the tires are so grippy because we still have snow outside so they work fantastic in snow and mud i honestly was waiting for the snow to melt before i pulled the bike out but i was like you know what i think it'll do fine because it has those big fat tires with tons of grip so i just put it together and let the kids use it in the snow as long as they're wearing their helmet, it's been fantastic. With spring here, this is the perfect bike to have for a lot of summer fun. It is the ninth anniversary carnival sale on the Angui website, so it is a perfect time to buy. I will have the bike linked below in the description box for you guys, so make sure you check it out. And now Pacey's going to take the bike for a little spin, so he's just turning it on it's ready to go and it's so easy to use you just turn the handle there forward a little bit and that's like kind of the gas so it um, dep depending on how hard you push it forward that's how fast you will go so it goes pretty fast you can get where you need to go pretty quickly with this so you definitely need to wear your safety gear put your helmet on and away he goes down the street as you can see in the background there we've got some houses under construction our subdivision is 
uh, like a brand new subdivision so there's only a few houses here but there's I think like four three or four of them under construction and probably a lot more this summer that are going to be starting so it's gonna be a busy area and when my household is driving me crazy I'm going to hop on my e-bike and just take off for a nice relaxing ride in the neighborhood I honestly never really thought of getting one of these things but now that I have one it is just so awesome to have we live in an area with like lots of hills so it can get very hard to bike if you're trying to go for a long bike ride especially if you're out of shape because I don't normally bike all the time so it's nice to have the e-bike option because you can enjoy more time outside so I really like that there's a lot of specs for this bike, so I will have that link down below in the description box for you guys, so you guys can check out all the info on their website. But it does have a max speed of 28 miles per hour, so you can really take off with this thing. And the max range is 75 kilometers, so you can go quite a far distance. You can also buy an extra battery, which you can attach onto the bike. There's a spot for that. So really, you are having, like, you have so many options of where you can take this thing. Alrighty, so I'm going to let Pacey have his fun outside on this bike and I'm going to head inside and get some more cleaning done. And I'm just getting started with folding my hockey blanket and getting the bed made. And Charlotte, she just absolutely loves going to my bed and is sitting in my spot once I wake up in the morning. So as soon as we are up and out of bed, she is taking over my spot. She's so sweet but I had to kick her out of the bed because I want to get the bed made but as soon as it's all done and fixed up she will jump back on here she's so funny because she loves going wherever it's clean and neat if I clean a room and make the bed that's where she will go to Okay, so now that the bed is made, I'm just assessing what else I can get done in the time that I have. And it looks like it is snowing again outside. Honestly, this winter has been the longest winter ever. We are like well into April now and we still have snow where we live. So I have all this laundry here that needs to be dealt with. We are going away to Nashville. So this all needs to be dealt with ASAP. But first things first, I wanted to work on this laundry for a little while, get some towels folded and tackle a couple of other <laughs> pieces that are over there that need to be folded and put away. All right, guys, so I'm just jumping right into the next day. I've got all that clean laundry that needs to be folded and put away. I stripped the sheets because I wanted to get those washed, but I also need to get this bathroom done. Okay, guys, so I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up in the bathroom. I still have stuff everywhere. Nothing has really been organized or put away since we moved in here. Um, I'm kind of waiting for the cabinet guy to come and put the handles on which is supposed to be the first week of may so hopefully that happens um for our steam shower here we did just pick up our tiles for the floor we are going to do the walls in the steam shower the same as the flooring here in the bathroom so i just have to figure out like the pattern how i want to lay it here i was going to go with something different but i just don't want it to be too crazy busy just plain and simple so we just changed out the flooring to do a little bit of something more accenty and also um, these will be like less slippery than this so the bathtub should be hooked up 
Hopefully soon the plumber has to come and just hook that up. Right now I'm just kind of storing a bunch of boxes in there. I cannot wait till that is hooked up because that bathtub is huge. <laughs> I'm going to have to get one of those footrests in here. Like it's a wooden footrest because otherwise I'm going to drown in there. Um, what else did I want to show you guys? I guess I'll just kind of film me putting a few things away. Uh, we have to, you know, get a couple lighting pieces in here and put the mirrors in here and then the glass will go in here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put away some laundry in here, fold laundry again. I just, I cannot even keep up with our laundry situation. So don't even ask what is going on here because I do laundry every day. Our laundry is actually like not that bad. Our laundry room, there's not that much laundry to be done, but the folding I can barely keep up with. So especially because like I've been at the rink for like days and days and hours on end. So it is what it is. And things will be way better once we get the laundry room finished up because we have a lot of room along the side of the washer and dryer there for built in shelves and we can even put a countertop in here. So lots of organization that can be done. I've got a couple of bags here. This was pulled in from the garage. That is stuff that still needs to be unpacked and washed from the old house. So washer and dryer are going. We're gonna keep working away here. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of other spaces in the house. I know you guys keep asking to see more rooms, but we are not able to really do clean with me's in those rooms because still lots of stuff in the way. So this is actually the office. Um, I'll probably use this as my dad's bedroom for now until we get the basement done. Lots of stuff in here that just doesn't belong. We've got the scaffolding, some extra flooring, a couple of boxes that need to be put away. This is the mud room. Still need to put the tile down in here. We've got hockey equipment that doesn't belong. A recycling bag. I don't even know how that ended up in here. It's like tipped over. So I'm going to get that closed up and take that out to the garage. But just lots of disorganization. I, like, I do not recommend moving into a house before it's completely done. But obviously, sometimes you have no choice. And it's so funny because I came across somebody else on Instagram the other day with a gorgeous house. But she was mentioning how they had to move in before it was complete because it was a self-build. And these projects take time. So their house is so nice now. But... The process is really painful. So we're in the process right now. And over here, I'll just give you guys a quick little peek of the powder room. So this room is basically needing everything done. We need our pendant light in the corner. Faucets need to be installed. The sink is installed. The granite people kind of messed up on our vanity there. That's not exactly the way I wanted it to look. I was really hoping to get the look of a floating vanity like the stone part and then a shelf underneath so i don't know they said they're going to help fix it we got to figure it out i do want to tile that back wall and i need to get a mirror some baseboards in here that kind of stuff so that's all stuff that we will be doing very soon hopefully and over here, this is our master closet. There is obviously nothing done in here yet. Basically just a big storage room area. There's a whole bunch of boxes with clothes, some bathroom supplies, things like that. So um, we need to put some lighting in here, paint the closet, get the flooring down, and then buy a closet organization system of some sort. And now I'll show you guys the outside. Now that the snow is melting, we have a disaster in the yard. A bunch of construction wood. Um, our septic field guy still has to come here, spread out all that crushed rock and finish the field over there. So we've got quite a mess outside. And the garage has to be finished, the exterior. So lots of projects still going on around here. Okay, so we are jumping forward another day here and I'm working on cleaning up the kitchen after breakfast, getting that all cleaned up. We are on the countdown to leaving for our trip. I'm pretty sure on the day of this filming, we were leaving in two days. So um, I'm not buying too many groceries or things like that. I have to put all of this stuff away. My dad will still be home. My sister will be staying with him. Um, at our house for a bit so he's going to be here kind of keeping an eye on things so I just want to make sure everything's kind of clean so things are easy for him to take care of here 
And so once I get the kitchen all cleaned up here, I do have to start making dinner and I'm going to share a recipe that is a favorite of my boys. So while I'm wiping down the rest of the island, if you guys have any favorite family recipes or dishes, go ahead and leave them in the comments below for me because I am always looking for ideas. My boys are always looking for home cooked meals. They're always hungry. So I run out of ideas often, especially if you have any ideas for like quick weeknight meals, that is key for me. Okay, so the recipe that I'm going to be sharing on here today with you guys is from the Small Town Woman website, and it is called the Hamburger Steak with Country Gravy. So I usually serve this with mashed potatoes and a veggie or a salad, and my boys absolutely love it. It is the ultimate comfort food, and my boys get so excited every time I make it. Now, instead of sharing every single thing I'm adding to this recipe, I will just link it down below in the description box for you guys. So if you have any dinner prep or cleaning to do, you guys can just go ahead and start doing that along with me right now. I'll just let the music play while I'm doing my meal prep here. Right now I'm just shaping these into small little hamburger patties. I make them just a little bit thicker than regular hamburgers because you want them to be nice and thick and these are going to go bake in the oven after I fry them in the pan just to brown them and give them that nice crisp edge. Okay, so now I'm going to make the roux for the country gravy. I did mean to drain the hamburger fat before I added the butter. There wasn't that much in there because I did use lean ground beef, but still there was a little bit in there and I should have drained it, I totally forgot. But oh well, I guess that we're gonna have a few extra calories in this dish this time. But I just melted the butter, added some flour, whisked it up, added some milk, and now the seasoning, some powdered garlic and some powdered onion. We're going to mix that all up, add just a little bit of cayenne pepper for some more flavoring. And then I just made it a really good consistency. Typically, I like to make it a little bit more watery than a normal gravy because it will be absorbed in the oven when it's baking. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and pour this gravy all over the hamburger patties. I'm just going to make sure it's all spread out, cover it with foil, and then that's just going to go bake in the oven for a minimum of 45 minutes. I like to bake it nice and long because it makes those patties super tender and soft. Now that the patties are baking in the oven and the countertops are wiped down, I'm just peeling the potatoes. I absolutely hate peeling potatoes. I really wish that they would come up with pre-peeled potatoes that you could buy at the store, but I know that's never gonna happen or even some kind of like potato peeling machine, but that even is probably next to impossible to get a really good one. Um, anyways, yes, just peel the potatoes. I'm going to cut that up, put them on a pot and cook those so i ended up forgetting to record little bits and pieces of getting the meal served up so as you can see we are in the aftermath of dinner here um so on the plate there was the meat patty the gravy the potatoes and the veggie i think we made a salad with that so i'm just cleaning up after dinner now i'm just gonna let the music play while you guys get some motivation of my after dinner cleanup here
All right, so this is one of the nights where I did not get the sink emptied. We are jumping forward to the next day here. As you can see, I'm cleaning in the upstairs bathroom. I really needed to get that done. So the upstairs bathroom actually didn't even take me as long as I thought. I did not organize the drawers. I just kind of threw everything in the drawers. I will organize those after the handles get installed, but I really needed to get this whole counter space cleared off. Everything wiped down nicely, and at least it looks much more organized in here. As even though we don't have the lighting installed yet or the shower done, at least it looks a hundred times better than it did. So right here, we still have to get wall sconces and a vanity light. So I'm just shopping around for those. I've been looking on Wayfair. I'll probably just order them on there. Now downstairs, we go to tackle the kitchen. These are the times that I wish I didn't leave the dishes in the sink the night before, but it is what it is. So I am unloading the dishwasher. These are the dishes that I got started last night. And then the dishes that are all around the sink and in the sink there, that's what didn't get finished last night. So I'm going to go ahead and get this switched over. If you have a sink full of dishes, go ahead and get started with me because I'm going to power down and get this all cleaned up in the next couple of minutes in this video. Everybody's been saying 
I just went ahead and put all of the bar stools up on the island again. That way I get the floor nice and clear and clean, ready to go ahead and get my Yeedy vacuum turned on so it can start doing its thing. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them, no reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But now the never, ever, ever seemed to be over, I saw. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. to smile but i would never ever ever would have believed them no reason sometimes the truth is hard to see but now the never ever ever seem to be over i saw so i'm happy i got freed lucky 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 me uh -oh -oh. lucky 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 me One of my favorite parts of cleaning a kitchen is probably wiping down the counters because that's when everything is put away and you can actually see that it is clean and you're starting to see results. I also picked up that cute little plant in the background there. I got that at Home Depot and the little flower pot I got from HomeSense. So I'm gonna keep that in the corner over there, see if I can keep that alive because I'm usually not too good with plants. But as you can see, everything is cleaned off nicely. I've got my little tile selection choices there with my knobs. Everything is nice and clean in here. I wanted it nice and tidy before we left for our trip out of town. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and install the floor washing cartridge. I'm gonna fill that with water, put it into the Yeedy vac, and then I'm going to get that started. I just noticed that the little cartridge here was dirty from using it the past couple of days. So this is all of the dirt that it sucked up in here. I was actually quite impressed. There was a lot of like fur and hair and crumbs and stuff like that. So just emptying that into the garbage and going to put that back in and get this thing going. So now that I have a robot to vacuum and mop my floors, that is going to save me a ton of time because now I can go upstairs and probably fold more laundry unless we are heading to the hockey rink um and i also have lots of packing to do anyways for our trip so i am so glad to have this thing running freeze up my time if you can see in the video here you can see the little scrubby thing moving back and forth i've never seen that in a robot vacuum before i'm highly impressed with that because that just instead of like dragging its brush or its little scrubber along your floor it's going back and forth and actually giving it a good little scrub so i really really liked that but anyways that is it for today's video you guys i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like the video leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and click that little notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future videos and i'll see you guys next time in the next video bye